Here we go. First dirt pushing of the 2023 road project with the dozer. I have completely forgotten how much this thing can get done and how much fun it is to operate. Oh, we got a fire. Fire. This is a bad idea. Hey, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, Cordy and I have been building our dream off-grid property over the last two years. And for two years, we've been struggling with this steep road. But this summer is the summer when we fix this road once and for all. What do you think of the cat excavator? Oh, it's nice and cool in here. <laughs> and it does work. At some point today, a rock caved in this undercarriage guard and we've got a new hydraulic leak. It looks like there's some hoses right here that might be getting pinched. It is way too hot under there to touch any of that right now, so it's a problem for tomorrow. What about this road Tyler built? Good morning and welcome back to another segment of Ambition Strikes Breaks the Machines again. Today the Hitachi has a leaking hydraulic fitting from somewhere up underneath and we're going to try to examine it. It is the weekend so the hydraulic shop's closed, but at least if we can get the hose out we'll have an idea of what we're working with. Okay, so definitely this hose. Upon further investigation, this fitting right here was just barely finger tight. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to tighten this and keep working today. We definitely still need to replace this hydraulic hose because it's severely damaged and probably restricting flow, but that's a problem that'll have to wait till Monday. At any rate, the machine's back in business. We can keep using it today. This machine is not working 100% and we need to spend some time on it, but we're not gonna spend more time on this machine while this rental's sitting here unused. Back to work. Let's move some rocks. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to get to work. We're officially building a road. Well, I can already tell that those sleeves I put in the pins on the bushings are making a big difference. The blade is just so much more responsive now. It's awesome. Guys, I am pumped. Like, this plan is working. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work to push the material that far with the dozer, but as I'm making a slot with banks on both sides, I'm actually able to carry the material pretty far down the hill. So yeah, this is gonna work. Welcome back to another day of fueling up the equipment. <laughs> These have been some thirsty beasts and we're using about a hundred gallons of fuel per day. Is it gonna reach? Along with the routine of daily fuel comes the routine of daily grease. How much do you put in? Until it starts squirting out. You can tell we do this daily because we don't know how to do it. Well, Tyler greases the excavator. I'm gonna get the dozer fired up, get it warming up. It's been exactly seven days since we got the 330 excavator on the job site, and we've spent the last three or four days actually moving dirt. We're making a ton of progress and I can't wait to see what this looks like by the end of the day. Yesterday we were running the dozer pretty hard, pushing massive amounts of dirt down the hill and backing back up the hill. By the end of the day, it was starting to run pretty hot. During my pre-flight inspection right now before starting it up, I noticed that the coolant is low, so I'm gonna add some water and hopefully that helps with our temperature issues today. What do you think, Tyler? 
think we're ready to start uh, moving dirt. Enough with the maintenance. Let's get back to work. <laughs> You're gonna let the mosquitoes in. So I need to let the dozer cool off for a minute. It's been working really hard pushing all this dirt down the hill. And I thought I'd take a minute to explain to you what we're doing. The goal is that where I'm standing now, we still need to take down another 15 feet or so. All of this material is going down the hill to build up the bottom. That's gonna get us the new slope that we need so that we can get to about 15% grade on this hill, which is still a steep hill, but it should mean that it's passable in the winter time. So as you can see, Tyler's breaking out the rock with the hammer, and then I'm coming through and I'm pushing the rock with the dozer down the hill. And then what I'm doing is called slot dozing. So basically I'm cutting a trench that I keep the dozer in while I move the material down the hill, and that keeps the material contained in the blade. If I was cleaning it up as we went, then all of that material would just be falling off the side the whole time, and there's no way that I could push it that far because our push from the top to the bottom is as much as 700 feet, which is a long ways for a dozer to push. I'm excited because I'm feeling like as long as the D8 holds together, by the end of the two week rental on this 330, we're gonna have a road. Oops, sorry about that. I'm on clearing duty, removing all the rock as Tyler hammers it. And I'm getting so frustrated with this excavator. And yes, it's old, and yes, it's beat up, and yes, it has a lot of hours on it. But the seller, you know, told me like, that, that it was ready to go. He owned it for 10 years. He said he used it every summer on, on jobs. And it clearly has issues, like, like lots of issues. The, the, the engine's overheating, the hydraulics are getting tracks are so slow, I have to crawl my way along with the bucket just to get up the hill. We can only run it for about an hour or so at a time, and then we have to stop and let the machine cool off. We're paying a lot of money to have the 330 here on the job site as a rental. I can't stop and have that thing sitting idle while I work on this one. So we're just kind of having to fight through it, but it is so frustrating. It smells like electrical smoke. Oh, we got a fire. Fire. There's an extinguisher on the back of this thing. I just can't get to it. I'll grab it and toss it to you. Uh oh. Whoops. What do you think, Tyler? Don't know. Don't know what to think? <laughs> yeah. I think we're down a machine. As far as I can tell, it's this main power wiring harness that caught on fire. 
Still not sure why. It's still really hot in there. Shockingly, this excavator still started and it still moves under its own power. Uh, so we're gonna try to get it out of the way because right now it is super in the way. I have no idea how this thing started and ran for that long, but we got it out of the road. The confessional for today. I thought the most exciting part of the day was gonna be the baseball sized rock hitting the glass while I was using the hammer. But then I saw Riley's life flash before his eyes when the excavator caught on fire. Actually, it wasn't that exciting. Just a little bit of smoke. Okay, um, confessional. I had quite a few moments today on that little excavator where I was done with it. So was I glad that it caught on fire? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that Tyler knew that it was on fire before I did, and it was almost like he wasn't even surprised that it was on fire. I also wanna add one more thing, which is just a huge thanks to Tyler and Carla and their baby Charleston for coming up here and spending time with us on our property this summer. It means so much to us, so thank you. Especially Carla for lending me Tyler. Okay, that's it. I'm loving being a dad to our new baby boy, Oliver, but it's starting to put things in a new perspective, and I think that Reckless Riley may need to become a little bit less reckless. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone else that has people that depend on them. Policy Genius works to help insurance shoppers understand their options, compare quotes, and buy a policy at the lowest price possible with just a few clicks. In minutes, you can work out just how much life insurance coverage you need and compare quotes to find your personalized price. There are no added fees, and your personal details are private. And remember that the Policy Genius team works for you and not the insurance companies. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $25 a month for $1 million in coverage. Some options offer coverage in as little as one week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Your loved ones deserve a financial safety net and you deserve a smarter way to find and buy it. Head to policygenius.com forward slash ambition strikes or click the link in the description below to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you can save. And thanks again to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Good morning from the job site. Oliver woke us up early this morning. I tossed and turned for a few minutes and then decided might as well get started. I'm here alone until Tyler wakes up. And uh, this is not what we wanted to find in our hole. The hole is full of water, and so we had hoped that there was a rock dam between here and uh, the pond, but I think that there's not. While I'm standing here talking to you, I also just noticed there's more standing water. Tyler spent quite a bit of time yesterday digging out all these boulders so that we could more easily get to them with the hammer and exposed water. I'm sure that there's a plan B. There's always a plan B. This tool is called the Kleinometer. Kleinometer. I'm a It tells percent slope by looking through the sight glass here at something the same relative height as you down the hill. You know what the grade is from here to that point. I think this water in these holes means that we're going to have to start looking for an alternative route. So we're still looking at 20%. Haven't gained much. Okay, so walking the path and looking at the options, we've pretty much come to the conclusion that to get the road as planned and to get the amount of fill that we need to finish this project, we need to be another 10 feet down below the level of the water. So we're going to start working on a plan to try to come up with an alternative idea. Well, the good news is that the dozer is still running, but... I broke the excavator again. I guess the bad news is that the excavator is broken. Huh. What? How did that even happen? I'm pretty sure it was there and it just started spewing out. Interesting. Tyler spent most of the afternoon yesterday digging all these big boulders out in preparation for more hammering. Cat Randall should be here within the hour for a new hydraulic hose for the hammer and then we'll be back to work. Oh no. Yeah. Now I 
have done it. That's a long ways down. Yeah, you weren't kidding to stop. Yeah. I think I might have gotten a little carried away and uh, drove up here without even looking at what's on the downhill side. There's nothing below us. I think it's time to phone a friend. Place your bets and put it in the comments below. Is this excavator going to be able to lift this Jeep? I think it is. It might look intentional, but it was fully not intentional. I even prepared a mud pit over there to intentionally get it stuck in. And instead I accidentally got it stuck over here, which is a way worse spot. Remember, this is a what we're doing channel, not a how-to channel, and we're using what we have. Don't try this at home. I definitely need one of these excavators. That was awesome. Just in time, cat service is on the scene to get the hammer fixed and playtime's over. To avoid the hike back down to the service truck, Tyler's given the cat guy a ride in the Jeep. I don't know if he knows what he's in for. <laughs> I love this job. I can get used to this. This is first class service. They come straight to me. Well, we are back in business. All right, well, that's it for this time. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because this summer's only heating up and we've got a lot more content coming your way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. There you go. There you go. It's breaking! It's breaking. Oh yeah, nice. I think the excavator lit on fire again. Oh yeah, it's on fire. Tyler, it's on fire.